What up, nerds? Welcome back to The Nerdy Narrative. My name is Leslie Smith, and today on the channel, I'm going to be doing a book haul. I have collected a few books over the last couple of months that I wanted to share with you. Some I have been sent to review, some that I have pre-ordered, some that I read the arcs, loved so much that I then had to get a copy to include in the Nerdy Narrative library. So let's just jump right in with the first one on this pile in front of me horror movie by Paul Tremblay. I did do a dedicated video review of this one already. I was fortunate enough to have access to the advanced reader copy, which I read, loved. And I have to say, this is one of those books that I believe this format is the best way to consume it because a lot of the story is presented in the format of a screenplay. It's a dual timeline story talking in the present of this movie being rebooted, remade by Hollywood 30 years after the original was done. And then the other timeline is when the original movie is being filmed by these young filmmakers and we get to see this in the format of the screenplay. I also feel that the way it's laid out is more impactful from our unreliable narrator who is the only remaining person alive that was part of the original movie. This is a cursed film trope. It's a horror story, psychological thriller absolutely loved it and just had to get my hands on a copy. I'll have the video review linked in the cards for you if you want to check it out. I'll drop it down in the description box as well. Next in my stack here I have The Hunter's Gambit by C.L. Pierlo. I've already read and reviewed this I'll one. I'll be sure to link that review for you as well. This is a locked room escape adventure. It's this clan of vampires against a single human. They've captured her. They've made her their vampire queen for three days. At the end of this three days she is going to be their main course. This human is not about to give up. Her way of thinking is you know what I may be trapped in here with these guys but they are also trapped in here with me. Excellent book. Had a great time with that one. Next here in my pile are two more books that I read and loved and had to have a physical copy of. Butcher and Blackbird by Bryn Weaver and then the most recent release in the trilogy Leather and Lark. I had the best time with these books. This level of spice isn't typically something I would go for, but my goodness, Brent Weaver is just so entertaining with her writing. Especially writing characters and the banter between those characters. What drew me into this series, besides the fact that tons of my friends read and loved them, is that they feature serial killers, especially the first one. It's a love story or romance between two serial killers. I had so much fun with these two books. Leather and Lark is just as good as Butcher and Blackbird, but for different reasons, if that makes any type of sense. I have dedicated reviews for both of those as well, which I'll have linked. Another book here that I have already read is Servants of the Dark Gods by Joseph Sale. This is a collection of short stories, novellas from Joseph Sale's Book of Thrice Dead series, which I do have have some videos for. I'll put those down there to check it out. What makes this collection so special to me is the Book of Thrice Dead series is on equal footing to me as Stephen King's The Dark Tower series, which is my favorite fantasy series of all time. I put those two on equal footing. They both have a huge impact. But this collection, first of all, is dedicated to your girl. And I can't believe this happened. So there's a foreword at the beginning. Guess who wrote the foreword? Hopefully my camera is picking it up. Yep, that's me. That's your girl. Don't get any ideas though. I, that was hard. It took me weeks to write that. It's short. It's less than two full pages, but y'all. So when Joseph first asked me to write it, it was maybe six months before he needed it. And when I said yes, I thought, okay, yeah, I can swing that. But once I finished reading the collection and the time came to sit down and start working on it, oh man, y'all, I'm talking, I was sweated, profusely trying to write this. And the version that appears in this book is not the one that originally started with. That foreword went through so many changes and transformations. It's just not even funny. I'm getting heart palpitations just thinking about it. So <laughs> let's move on to the next book. I have Tidal Creatures by Shauna McGuire. This is part of the Alchemical Journey series, middle game, if you're familiar with that one. I never read the second book in that series. I heard there were a lot of people that were a little disappointed by it in comparison to Middle Game. And Middle Game is one of my favorite books. I love that book so much. I don't even know how many times I've read that book. I'm not sure how many books are going to be in the Alchemical Journey series, 
but I'm going to be collecting them all and at some point I will catch up but that's one I haven't read yet. Next up I did pre-order I'm Afraid You've Got Dragons by Peter S. Beagle and the whole reason of this I'm not gonna lie to you I was influenced by Daniel Green. He posted a video detailing some horrible things that this author was experiencing. It really pulled on my little heartstrings and I thought you know what I'm gonna pre-order this book and I'm gonna read it and I'm gonna review it and help this author get as much coverage as I can. So yeah, that's how I ended up with this one. It's published by Saga Press and I have rarely read a book put out by that publisher that I didn't love. So I feel like I'm going to have a good time with that. So one. this next book is called A Brief History of Future. It was commissioned by the Star Set Society. It's the second book in their series. It was sent to me by my friend Amanda who gifted me the first book in the series. We're going to be buddy reading this one together. We actually buddy read the first book together and I think we're going to reread that one and then go into this so I'm one. I'm excited for that one and I will probably do a dedicated review for the first book when I reread it because I don't believe I ever actually did a video review so we'll have that going. The next two books are the first two in a series because y'all remember I said this year anytime I read the first book in a series if I love it I'm going to go ahead and read all the rest of the books that are out in that series. So I picked up Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. I'm going to ready read this with my friend Kate from the Literary Apothecary. Went ahead and got the second book. I love these covers. I have no idea what the series is about. My friend Melissa read it and loved it. She tore through the first two like nobody's business. No god, no creature, no war can come between them. So I'm guessing this must be a romance, maybe a fantasy romance. I'm into that lately, so we'll see what happens with those. And the rest are books that are sent to me by authors for review consideration. First up, I have a little short story novella by Ryan Hyatt, Lot Lizards. Uh, there's no description on the back, but knowing Ryan is a uniquely humorous science fiction story. Another by Ryan is called Enhanced, a Hollywood murder mystery. On the back here it says, this is a masterfully crafted blend of science fiction mystery and technological intrigue. Like Ryan Hyatt's previous works, this compelling narrative grips the reader from the first page and doesn't let go until the final revelation. Everything that I have read by Ryan, I have really enjoyed. And then next is one I'll be reading soon. It's called Incarnate by Richard Thomas. I love this cover even though it looks spidery. In a frozen tundra, a sin eater fights for redemption and absolution as monstrous creatures ravage a community already struggling to survive. I love stories about sin eaters. I first read one about 20 years ago. I had never heard of them prior to that book. It was actually a Christian fiction book. I became obsessed with this idea of this person whose job was to eat and take on the sin of other people so that person could live free and be healthy and happy and move forward while this person is suffering, bearing their sin for them. Now, I'm not sure what aspect of that myth or legend of a sin eater is going to be explored by Richard Thomas, but whatever it's going to be, it's going to be speculative, it's going to be creepy, it's going to be well written and thought provoking. And the last one here I got from Blackstone Publishing is called Lilith by Eric Rickstad. Let's get a little bit of a refresher of what this one is about because I've already forgotten. After her son Lyndon suffers traumatic injuries in a school shooting, single mom Elizabeth Ross grows enraged at men in power. If they won't do anything to help end this epidemic of violence, she will. Believing it's her destiny, she sets out to awaken the world to the cowards these men are and commits her own shocking act of violence. Going by the name Lilith, the first wife of Adam who fled Eden rather than serve a man, she posts a video of her crime that reverberates through society. Praised by some, demonized by others, and hunted by the FBI and vigilantes alike, Elizabeth must keep her identity a secret as she tries to care for her son. I think this one's going to pack a punch, leave a very lasting impact on readers. I'm excited to read and review that one for y'all. But that's all the books that I have to share with you today. These are the ones that I've picked up over the last few months, adding to my ever-growing library. Much to the chagrin of my darling sweet husband, who I just know is going to buy me a new bookshelf any day now. 
I'm gonna keep <laughs> manifesting it until it becomes a reality. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know if you read any of these books. Are you excited to see reviews of any? Did any of these strike your curiosity and you want to know more? Let me know in those comments down below. Have a great rest of your day and I'll catch you in the next one.